we will convert this into this in this blender displacement map tutorial you will learn what is a displacement map how to create it and how to properly use it inside blender what is a displacement map displacement map is a black and white image which is used to physically displace the mesh that means it modifies the shape of the geometry like a bump map it also contains all gray shades from pure black to pure white and those gray shades decide the height of the mesh surface. In case of displacement mapping, pure black represents the minimum height of the actual surface of the mesh and pure white represents the maximum height. So if the color is pure black, the surface will get depressed and if the color is pure white, the surface will be raised. By looking at this example, you can see how the grayscale values affect the displacement of the surface. Displacement maps are used a lot in the movies also, because they create very very realistic results. But, they are slower to render than bump maps. Why? You see, the bump maps are good for creating surface based details. In other words, they create illusion. Displacement map on the other hand actually displaces the mesh. That's why it looks more realistic. But to actually displace the mesh, it requires additional geometry. Additional geometry means more render time, but more realistic results. So, how to create a displacement map? I opened the same image we used in previous bump map video. Displacement maps are supposed to be black and white. So we will go to image, mode, grayscale. Now we need to add much contrast to this image. We are gonna do that by using levels. For that, select image, adjustments, levels. Or you can create an adjustment layer by clicking this icon right here and selecting levels. Now add contrast but pay attention to the image. We don't want to overdo it. Just think of how much depth you want to add. And also pay attention especially to the crevices. We want them to be just near dark and rest of the image to near white, but not totally. Next, we will add blur to this image because currently this map is very sharp and it will create spikes on the mesh when we apply it. So for that, go to filter, blur and select Gaussian blur and again we don't want to blur this out a lot. Our main focus here is to add softness so that we will get nice gradual effect. Now let's see how to use this into Blender. We will use the same plane we created in our previous bump map video but we will modify it a bit. We learned that the displacement map modifies the actual shape of the geometry. But if we apply the displacement map to this plane right now, we won't see any difference. And it's because if we go into edit mode, you see our plane has only 4 vertices. So we need to add extra geometry. To do that, we will subdivide this plane by right clicking and selecting subdivide. You can increase the number of cuts by adding value in this box. We will set this to 100. Now go to modifiers tab and add a displace modifier. You can see the plane has moved up. We haven't added the map to this plane yet. Let's add that by clicking new. Next, go to the textures tab and click open. And let's select the map we created. And it doesn't look pretty at all. It looks like mountains rather than stones. And it's because if you see, the strength of the modifier is very high. Now let's reduce it. It's starting to look good, but you can see some problems on the mesh. We got some sharp ugly cuts here. Well, you can fix it to some extent by selecting shade smooth like so, but we need more geometry to fix it. I will turn off grid first and let's add subdivision modifier. Let's increase the levels and put this modifier on the top of the displace modifier. Our plane is starting to look better now. We added both fine details and large details on the surface. But we still need to add extra realism by creating a roughness map to control the shininess. So click this video right here and let's learn how to do it.